people. We have predictions. Uh, we have uh, forecasts of what ought to be seen, and we built the apparatus or designed the apparatus, and we are building it to uh, to check that out, see how the first stars and galaxies were formed. And we're talking about a planned launch of 2013. 2013. And the pro uh, the uh, uh, the JWST is supposed to mission is five years, is that right? Five years minimum. minimum. Uh, we'd like it to run a lot longer. Ten, ten years, we're providing fuel for ten years. Another scientist said that uh, what's wonderful about so much of what we do here at NASA is that we don't even know what we're going to find till we go out and try looking for something. And uh, this sounds like another example of it that. It really is. Uh, when New technology enables new observatories that see things no one ever imagined before, and we have been wrong so much in predicting what we're going to see. The Hubble telescope showed us huge numbers of surprises. COBE gave us some, some surprises. The um, successor mission for COBE was WMAP. It gave us some wonderful surprises. And so now we think we understand, but we probably don't. Before we uh, conclude, I, I wanted to ask you again at the risk of embarrassing you, the moment you found out, you got the call from, uh, was it Stockholm? It or? was from Stockholm, yeah. Uh, well, um, I thought, this is either something wonderful or something terrible. So I said, Jane, early that's in the morning. One, uh, yeah, so when they asked if I was the real John Mather, <laughs> and, and, and uh, that I'd, they told me then that I had been selected for the Nobel Prize. So I said, that's very nice. So my wife would know it was something nice. And then uh, I knew my life was changed forever. And, and it has been, but it's been a wonderful trip and uh, is continuing to be very exciting. What, what has changed? I, obviously, you, you, we've, met, we've talked before that uh, you've done a lot of traveling, uh, given a lot of talks. Uh, do you see that continuing? I think that will continue. Um, but what I really want to do mostly these days is to make sure the new telescope is finished and works just exactly the way we said. So there's some huge scientific and technical challenges to make that happen, and I'm delighted to be able to work with them, work with my colleagues on that project. It's a wonderful project. Who were, uh, when you look back on your life so far uh, uh, and your accomplishments, which are uh, uh, many, uh, there's, a, there's a list of awards that you've won. Uh, you're in the uh, uh, Aviation Week uh, uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, too many to to mention here all on uh, uh, Wikipedia, uh, you're, uh, you won just so many awards. What, um, when you think back, uh, are there any people in particular that you look to as inspiration or mentors that, that helped you get where you are? Well, it seems to me that they're the people that I encountered in my trajectory. Uh, first, my family, my parents. Um, my sister helped at times. Uh, my teachers in school. Um, a few people helped in ways that they didn't expect. Uh, random conversations that changed my life. Can you recall? Well, a friend of mine said, uh, it's really nice out here in Berkeley in the January, and he sent me a picture of himself sitting on the fountain in a short sleeve shirt in January. Oh, well, maybe I should go out there. So I applied for a summer job and decided to stay. So because I was there, I did what I did. If I had gone someplace else, who knows? So um, there's an awful lot of... Uh, of surprise in, in life that comes from individual momentary conversations that change everything, and you never know what they're going to do. Um, there's that. There's also, um, I think, also a certain willingness that I have to, uh, to try the impossible, because it might, be, might work. And so that's worked out uh, pretty well on the COBE, and I'm very delighted to be working on the James Webb Telescope, which looked impossible but never was impossible. It's just difficult. So um, now we have a brilliant team building that telescope. Many things, uh, many surprises, but uh, mostly I think brilliant colleagues have made amazing things happen. Is there anything that you look back on or, or if you had more time that you'd like to accomplish? I have a lot of projects in mind uh, that would be um, possible now and some won't be possible for a few decades. Um, bigger telescopes of various kinds, uh, telescopes to hunt for planets around other stars, uh, that I've been working on. Um, we uh, hope to test some of the techniques with the JWST to learn about planets around other stars, hunt for life. Uh, we may not find life, but we will develop the techniques. And then there are new observatories people are hunting f for, uh, several ideas for how to do this. And uh, I would love to work on those too. You mentioned earlier about um, 
uh, Kobe and the origins of wh where we come from and uh, uh, you have with Kobe uh, have helped answer a little bit of that I guess uh, do you where do you see us going in the future well, it seems to me we've got a few centuries at least of scientific ex exploration of these kinds of topics um, with NASA work we can really hunt for the uh, the conditions that made life possible here on Earth see how common is that in the universe uh, uh, see if there are other planets out there that are alive uh, if we're lucky and some of the other places here in the solar system support life then we can really do brilliant things with biology because we can bring home some samples and uh, and really learn a lot about it uh, so that would be wonderfully exciting just as a purely scientific thing and clearly of tremendous cultural importance as it tells us if we might not be alone we may not ever find those other quote people out there uh, but knowing that they might exist it will still be pretty important to us I think just the way we look at ourselves well Dr. Mather thank you so much on behalf of everybody here at NASA and everybody else who's ever wondered from whence we come thank you so much thank you Al